Hello everyone. Recent developments in the speculated lineup for patch 4.7 have led to the changes in rumored lineup for patch 4.8 also. In this video we will share some exciting details about the upcoming version 4.8 banners, chronicled banners, a new map, and more. Let's dive into each one. But before we begin Hoyoverse dropped the official banners for the phase 2 of version 4.6 yesterday. So, do you plan on pulling for Wanderer and his signature weapon, but you don't have enough Primo gems for one pull? Fortunately, here a smarter way that you can buy Primo gems at a discount. Check out Loot Bar. Loot Bar is the highly fast and most reliable recharging platform with attractive discount. It is 100% safe cause only using UID to purchase crystal. We will buy pack for 6480 crystals for $85, which otherwise would have costed $100, totally saving $15 or 20% from the official price. We received the crystals we purchased in less than 2 minute. All the recharge will be done through the official channel with Mihoyo, which allows you to enjoy all top up offers. It's like getting Kazuha in your team, you just can't go wrong. And did you know? Big names like Jello Impact, Dukaja, and Teva Times trust Loot Bar for their primo needs. If they're on board, you know it's the real deal. Now, new users can also get an extra 5% discount. Use my link from the description or pinned comment to get the amazing discounts. Getting back to topic at hand. Version 4.8 is set to drop on July 17th. Get ready for a thrilling new time-limited map, reminiscent of Bottle Land and Golden Apple Archipelago. Initially, we anticipated meeting Emily, a perfume maker from Fontaine, but now there's a twist. Remember the prison girl from the initial Fontaine data leak? She might finally step into the spotlight as a 4-star in this patch, though it's too soon to confirm. Rumor has it that we won't see any new 5-star characters in this patch. However, we can expect reruns for Ryathusli, Navia, Cloud Retainer, and the last character being either Nilo or Kokomi. As for outfits, Hoyoverse tends to drop new ones in every X.4 and X.8 patch, so expect some fresh looks in version 4.8. Like patch 4.4, two will be paid and one will be free. As per the current rumors, the characters that might get a new makeover this patch are, Wanderer, Nilo, and Kirara. Excitingly, Kirara's skin is slated to be free. Now, onto the chronicled wish banner for patch 4.8. Latest rumors suggest these banners might only appear during filler patches, so we might not see one in version 4.8. Stay tuned for official announcements. Lastly, there's a welcome giveaway happening right now. Winners will be picked on May 12th and results will be declared in May 13th video. Check out the link in the video description or comment to join. What are your thoughts on version 4.8? Share in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates. Alright, now we're talking!